So tell me your dry eye story. Sure. Well, I mean, it has been many years and treatment with, um, you know, the, my primary um, optician and ophthalmologist and just using restasis, which wasn't doing enough. Um, and then there was kind of this cr moment in which I woke up one day with really red eyes and um, I had been drinking red wine the night mm -hmm. before and they were extraordinarily painful. And, um, you know, I knew something was very, very wrong. Um, and I went to um, an ophthalmologist near where I live and she put me on, um, a, or I think an eye drop prednisone, mm -hmm. and, but I couldn't get off of it. I kept trying to get off of it and I would have a bounce back mm -hmm. problem. Um, I started uh, looking on social media for solutions and Dr. Creamers came up um, in um, quite a lot of the dry eye groups that I became involved in on social media. And because I am fortunate to live in the DC, DC metro area, I made an appointment here and she did quite a lot of testing and um, did diagnose the ocular rosacea. Um, but also the, uh, and I don't know that I'm ever going to pronounce this right, the myobium gland. Myobium gland, that's right. Mo <laughs> gland, myobium dysfunction. Myobium. <laughs> gland dysfunction, and mine were very, very clogged. And so we did a number of measures. At first we started with, um, I can't even recall the name of the um, uh, process that you did prior to the IPL, but it was, um, like lipo flow? It was lipo flow, okay. and I don't okay. know that there was really any good result okay. there for mm -hmm. me, but we at least in that process knew mm -hmm. how many glands that I had that weren't working at mm -hmm. the time. Um, and I do get the PRP drops and the, um, the other drops, but I feel what really has helped me the most has been the IPL and the expression. Um, I've been, I've now had 11 treatments, and I know that's a lot, um, but I can say that I am, I think it's been about a year and a half mm -hmm. since I first mm -hmm. walked through the door here, and I walked in this morning symptom-free, which is That's great. kind of amazing because my eyes were always red. They they hurt. Um, they were, um, you know, when you have dry eye, they actually produce excess tears because you're just in kind of a misery state, and um, I felt like it was ruining my life. Mm -hmm. I couldn't mm -hmm. comfortably watch television at night. I was just constantly in pain. Mm -hmm. And um, I just had my 11th IPL and, you know, you go from this place where you can literally see that you've got these clogged glands to, um, you know, we've just kind of run through um, where I am today and I have all of these really wonderful glands that are producing oil. So I'm very, very happy. Yay. Tell me about your punctal plug history. Quick, okay. Quickly. So, sure. I'm a person who, um, the punctal plugs help but I can't keep them in mm -hmm. for some reason, and I don't understand that. But um, Dr. Creamer's um, cauterized um, my four puncta, and I think that's made a world of difference because it helps keep um, the oil on um, the surface of my eyes. Oh. Um, so that in and of itself has also been an important part of Great. the treatment. How much did the cautery hurt? Did it hurt? Was it no. very uncomfortable? Was it like no. a couple of seconds per no. eyelid and looked good? No, okay, great. I'd say the worst thing you do to me is <laughs> um, expression afterwards. I mean, the and IPL. And you haven't needed probing at all, correct? Right, good. correct. That's right, great. Correct. Thank you for this. Thank I appreciate you. all my patience. Thank you, everybody.